Hey, what's up, Vector Tuts readers? It is Ryan Quintel, and we're here today with another Vector Tuts Plus Quick Tip. Today, we're going to be creating a blueprint inside of Adobe Illustrator. So let's open up Illustrator and get started. First, we're going to create a new document. And for the size, let's just do letter. We'll go horizontal. And make sure in advance that you have RGB turned on. And we'll call this Blueprint. Now we're going to create a square. So grab your rectangle tool, hold down shift, and simply drag out a square. And then we're going to add a little bit of color here. So let's select our gradient and our gradient palette. We're going to add a third dot, a little bit closer to the edge, and we're going to make it a radial gradient. So our first color all the way on the right if you're using RGB is going to be 0, 78, and 144. So you can see that's a dark blue. Our second color, also change that to RGB, is going to be 56, 126, and 235. You can see we're getting to a lighter blue. And finally, the last color. When we go down, we're going to choose RGB. That's going to be 0, 167, and 255. Now, why all these random colors? Well, I've baked this cookie before, so uh, let's just say I'm fairly familiar with what's necessary. And now, just adjust these colors until that looks like a pretty smooth transition. And I. I actually like it a little bit closer to the left hand side here. And that is our gradient. You can also remove the stroke on that as well. Double click the grid tool and we're gonna say give us 20 by 20. We'll hit OK. We'll drag it open. And there is our grid. For that we're just gonna make the lines white and we're going to take its opacity down to 20%. So now we have uh, our blueprint paper kind of foundation laid. Select everything, Command G, group it. Now we're going to put on a little bit of a curl at the end of this blueprint. And how we're going to do that, well, I'll show you. First, I'll make this pink so it's really super visible to you guys. We're going to grab our pen tool a little bit before the end. Bring that over to the edge and come down below the blueprint. You can put some curve on this and that'll look a little bit nicer. Click there. I'm going to go around and give this a curve. And then this final piece right here, we're going to make sure that's a curve too. So this right here is our curled over piece of paper. Click on the gradient palette and get your three way gradient, but make them linear this time. You can arrange it to about like that are very similar to the first and our colors this time around are just going to be flat out white the second one will be 217 227 and 240 and the last one pretty easy will be white so you can see the underside of this uh, blueprint is white Turn off the stroke on that. And use your gradient tool to align this a little bit more with the layer. So start on one edge and drag it to the other edge and do it the opposite way so we maintain the same direction. And then I'll use over here in the gradients palette just adjust the angle till it lines up with what we did. Extending it there. So there you go. 
Now we have this curled edge, and uh, if you're having a hard time seeing it, I'll go ahead and drop a background in here for you. Now we're just going to do a couple final touches here. Um, why don't you go ahead and grab your text tool and type out any letter. I'm going to use Q here. And I'll pick a font, maybe something that looks a little bit more uh, structured. We'll try Helvetica New is what I'll pick. And then I'll go for Condensed Black. There's a pretty bold looking Q. And just size it up so that it aligns with the grid and color that white. I'll delete the background again. Select that and create outlines for it. Then instead of your grid tool, go back to your line tool and just draw some lines kind of outlining whatever it is that you've got there. And make sure they've got a white stroke and we're actually going to turn on a brush. 0.25 for them. And then we're going to put in a couple measurements. So grab your text tool again and pick a little kind of handwritten. I'm going to just use noteworthy. We'll say, I don't know, 23 inches. You can just put random measurements. It doesn't really matter. Um, or you can be super precise, right? So uh, whatever your project calls for. And we'll put one up here. Obviously, it is taller than it is wide, so 13 inches should do. And that is the gist of it, how to make a blueprint. Um in Adobe Illustrator. It's obviously not an architectural blueprint, it is just in the style and spirit of, but uh, there's a quick and easy way to do it. So, hope you enjoyed this quick tip, have a great day, and keep designing.